welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.32 of our book uh, which is written by walpole so uh, in this question the part a here is that in how many ways can six people be lined up to get on a bus okay so again we have uh, six people and in order to ride or in a bus they have to line up and what are the different ways of lining up okay so again let us use the same scenario of this overall block okay and this box and in this box we have again different slots so let us make six slots and these six slots are basically uh, six people which can be lined up to get on a bus okay so here in uh, the first here what are the options for me here that this is in how many people can be here in this first slot so i may have six people here so after getting a person here how many will be left so five will be left because one will be accommodated here then when the second will be accommodated here four will be left okay then here three will be left then here two are left and for this last part i will have only one person okay uh, so uh, what are the options here for each part here we have written them here and here these should have to be multiplied together why multiplied together because here when i will have here six options so these six options have to be replicated with all the options or all the people which are here okay any one of the person can be here while these can be changed similarly any two of the persons can be here and these can be replicated uh, so i mean that here i have to implement and 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 operation here so therefore for the and operation what do i have to do i have to implement the multiplication rule okay so multiplying them together what i will get i will get six multiplied by five multiplied by four multiplied by three two and one which is basically six factorial and this is what this is 720s okay so this is the answer of part a what we have here okay this is 620 similarly here in part b if three specific person among six insist on following each other how many ways are possible okay so uh, we can see here that here we have six person so let me draw here another block okay and again we again we have these six person so for these six person i have to draw these spots as well okay so these are basically the six person and here we have three persons who want to follow each other okay so let me have those three person here let me draw them here okay so let me consider it a single person which can be available here so let me have that single person here So combining them all together, if these three has to follow each other, so uh, I cannot make them separate from each other. Okay, so therefore it is considered as a single spot. So if these are here, this can also be here as well. If I remove it, okay, so these would be. Let me use the same color these uh, can also be here okay if uh, these are not so again i will have one two this three over a spot and this four so i will have four spots similarly these can also be here as well so let me remove it okay and i can have here this part okay so now i will have this part this one this one and this one so uh, again i will have four spots so uh, in these four spots we can see that these three will be combined together and these are not changing their position with anyone so therefore now i have here here we have how many options so uh, to uh, out of all these i will have here 
let me have here i will have here four options okay uh, similarly here how many options here i will have here three options here two and here one so i will have here if i consider it a single spot i will have here four factorial options which is how much so 4 3 12 12 2 24 so i will have here 20 four options okay so this is what these are the options but here we can see that again these three spots are here okay and we can see here that in these three spots we can also have different option as well the the hair can be a first person second here and third one here similarly if i call them let me call them a b c so here it can be a b c person here as well uh, similarly we can also have here b c a as well also we may have here c a b okay and different options okay these options are available here so therefore initially how many options would i have here in this part i will have here three options here i will have two options and here one so therefore here i would have three and this three factorial is six okay so uh, we can see here that here the optional positions are or the number of ways these can be filled up are six and here if i will take this one as a single position so i will have here 24 position okay so now i can see that these combinations are basically in combination with all the other positions as well and here we can see that the these three person can be combined together in six ways so therefore what i have to do i have to multiply the combinations it make with all of these positions uh, with these uh, with the positions which are followed inside of it so therefore i have to multiply 6 with 24 and what i will get here i will get here let me multiply it here so 6 6 4 24 and 6 12 and 144 okay so i will have here 144 total number of what total number of possible ways okay so this is the answer of part b here in which three person insist uh, in following each other okay so this is part b of my question so uh, the last part here is that if two specific persons among six refuse to follow each other how many ways are possible uh, in previous question three persons uh, were insisting on following each other but now in this part two person or two specific persons are now refu refusing to follow each other so what do we have to do let me first remove all this so uh, let me first remove all this and i will solve it here because this one is also a very interesting part of this question so in part c uh, let me again consider this box okay and again we have six slots so the six slots here are these one one two three four five six these are the six slots and uh, we have six people which are following each other so two specific persons are insisting of uh, not following each other so what do we have to do so let us first try that if we have two persons which are insisting on following each other okay so what would happen if two persons are insisting on following each other so uh, the all possible ways which we have considered in part b let me again follow that as well so again let me have either these two okay or these two or uh, these two and so on okay so uh, in following them what would happen we would have here we will consider this one as a single person while the other persons will be considered individually similarly this one will be here as well and we can also draw them here as well because now these two can also have different changes here i will have uh, if two percent a and b so either it can be a b or it can also be b a okay so how many choices would i have here i will have here two choices and here one choice as well and i have to multiply them together so therefore i will have here two number of 
total choices okay either it can be a b or b a these are two choices uh, so now um, if following the same procedure which i have followed in previous question so how many choices will i have here if these slots are uh, already available because two person are persons are insisting on following each other so what would happen here i will have five choices okay here i will have four choices okay uh, here when it will reach here i will have three choices here two and here one okay because i am considering this slot as a single one so therefore it would be what it would be five factorial and five factor is how much so uh, this is basically the multiplication because of the reason which i have uh, mentioned in part a so it would be five four 20 23 60 60 and 2 is 120 okay so now we have these choices here so now um, we can see that this slot is already available here and in ca it can also be replicated with respect to the all the options so therefore i have to multiply the number of choices here as well so therefore taking it from here okay and writing it here and multiplying it here what i will get so let me take it and uh, what i will get here i will get here 240 okay so uh, these are basically the number of choices or the number of possible ways when two specific persons want to follow each other okay so what if they don't want to follow each other so in uh, part a we have seen that there are 720 total ways that six persons can be lined up okay so out of these 720 these 240 ways are the possible number of ways in which two person or two specific person want to follow each other so therefore here uh, if two persons doesn't want to follow each other it would be the total number of the possible ways minus the total number of ways they want to follow each other so therefore i have to write here 240 okay. so therefore how much would it be so it would be 720 minus 240 so here it would be 0 it would be 8 and here it would be i will have 6 6 to 480 okay so here i will have 480 total ways in which they don't want to follow each other and this is the answer of part c okay so uh, in this question what i have seen these are different parts and we have again utilized the concept which we have been following in all of such questions in our uh, playlist that first of all you have to consider a block and in that block you have to consider the total number of choices as we can see here that uh, this is sampling without replacement because once a person has been uh, captured here or he has captured this place he cannot be replicated here okay so this is what this is basically the uh, sampling with uh, without replacement okay because if you have a box and you are getting a ball out of it so once you will note its color and put it back here this is uh, the possible way that's in second turn when you will try to pick the balls out of it you will get the same ball so if you are not putting it back you are uh, getting it and putting it out of this box what will happen in second turn you cannot get the same ball from this box because it is now put it outside of this box okay so uh, the same is happening here and for those values we are basically following the rule which is the factorial rule or the factorial which has been followed here okay so uh, i think the the conceptual overview or the conceptual point which have to be conveyed through this question is now clear so if you guys have any ambiguity you can ask me in the comment box so i hope all the ambiguities now are now cleared so thank you so much and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video thank you so much